Spooky Children, it's me Ghost Girl and I'm here with you guys for another video. Now in today's video I'm going to just be doing my makeup and chatting away. So um, I'm going to be starting this makeup look with the Forever Correct Concealer by Dior in the shade 1N. So not much has actually changed in the, since the last time I posted saying that. It's only been like a day in between. <laughs> um, but as you guys know, um, I work in a charity shop and the charity shop is in fact haunted. There's a downstairs area where we keep all our furniture and um, it is very haunted. There are so many ghosts down there that I've actually lost count now. Um, why they're there, I don't know, but the shopping mall that um, the charity shop is in is also very haunted. Like when I used to work in the boots there, um, that was also haunted as well. Like in the basement, there's a spirit of this old lady and she has a long white wavy hair and she's always um when I was on working on the shop floor she'd always come on the shop floor and keep an eye on me. Sometimes her hair is up in a bun. She's either sometimes she wears a yellow dress, sometimes she wears a white blouse and a long green skirt and has it up in a bun. And she's always telling me to come closer, come closer. <laughs> like she's deaf or something, I don't know. She just wants people to be around her all the time. And her name's Jessica. Um, at this at the basement in Deborah, there is a man, his name's John, and he's got black hair, a black moustache slash beard, and he's got dark eyes and he wears a long black coat and big black boots. He, there's also a little boy that haunts there. He's like 15. He wears like a grey cardigan, has like black hair and wears grey trousers and his name's Matthew. There's also a spirit there by the name of Robert. So Robert has kind of golden blonde slash ginger hair. Um, when I first seen him, I thought he might have been like a lord or like someone very wealthy like a knight or something just because he was the way that he was dressed and I think he was accused of something but I can't figure out what um, I read on the Stalk Scotland website something about a robber that got executed on the Hidden Hill, which I think nowadays is called Gowan Hill, 
um, they used to be like a beheading stone. They have a stone still there, but it's locked in a cage. But um, it, people would get their head cut off with an axe on this hill, which is quite thick. Like, people must have been fucked up in the head in the days to go about, like, beheading folk. But, like, I don't know if it's him or if he maybe got executed at the Tollbooth Tower because the Tollbooth Tower, right, is where people went to jail and got executed and, like, the Tollbooth Tower was, like, the worst prison in Britain, according to historians, um, it actually got closed down by a prison inspector in the 1840s because it was so bad. Um, I did have a nightmare about a tower when he started coming into the picture, but I don't know really. I'm wondering, so was he imprisoned in the tower and then executed? It would help if I knew the year he died. That would be like a big help. Um, I did find a robot that got executed in 1840. That was a prisoner at the Tollbooth Tower and um, was executed there. So I don't know it's that robot or the one on the hill. I couldn't find much information about either of them though. Um, I've got a friend that he works as a kind of historian. Um, I'm wondering maybe if I was to ask him and he could help. Um, it's just very mysterious, not getting a lot of answers and from either him or the internet. To be fair, they weren't very good at keeping records back then and a lot of the records were actually destroyed in World War Two in a bomb that destroyed all the records. Um, so there's a lot of like records that were unfortunately destroyed. Um, so I don't know if his information was in those records. I really don't know. And plus obviously in World War II they never had like computers or that back then. So everything would have been documented on paper with no backups and no way of getting them back. Thank God nowadays for computers. Um, so now I'm putting on the NARS foundation. As you can tell this is well used, it's about halfway now. So there's also this other woman um, who wears a red dress and has long brown hair. I think her name might be Olivia. And then there's this other woman who started following me about. She has black hair and ties it in a black bun and wears a long black dress. She's almost like a shadow woman. I think she tries to scare me but ugh, good luck with that honey. Um, I'm not someone that's easily scared. 
Although, to be fair, if she was trying to scare me, she'd probably be doing a lot more than what she's doing. I think they just want, I think they're just curious about me. Want to know what life is like in the 21st century. Very complex. <laughs> that is the answer I want to give them. Life in 2024 is complex. Um, but yes, yeah, so there's, I'm trying to think if I missed any of the spirits out because there's quite a few number of them, I don't think so. I've noticed though that people are, have been noticing um, some stuff in my videos, like they've seen like the figure of a man in my videos and a woman with long black hair and a light dress. But she's my, the woman in, with the long black hair and the white dress, she's actually my sister. So um, I have a sister that's in spirit and uh, she looks out for me. Um, so you don't need to be scared if you ever see her <laughs> just randomly popping in a video. She has a habit of um, basically smashing through my door. The amount of times I've nearly had a heart attack because I've been lying in my bed almost asleep and I just hear a bang through the door and bang she goes. And I've, she's actually woke me up and I've nearly had a heart attack. <laughs> Thanks Ariana for scaring me when you smash through that door. Gee whiz, and I've noticed that um, the noise she makes come through the door is getting louder and louder and louder. I don't know if it's that door um, needing repaired or if it's her just getting more and more determined to get in my room to guard me or whatever. I don't know. But um, either way, I want a new door now. I really want a new door. To be fair though, my mum did something to that door and never... And I don't know what she's done with it, but um, ever since uh, she started fiddling about with it, it's gotten quite creaky, quite a creaky door, and <laughs> I want it fixed. Like, nah, man. Creaky, creaky door. So anyway, the man, that's Johnny from Deborah, um, he follows me home sometimes. Um, in fact, all the spirits that I've met in <laughs> the mall follow me home sometimes. Um, I think they are just curious about me and I know Johnny said that he just wants to look out for me because uh, there is a lot of weirdos that hang about that shopping mall and uh, he's right about that, there is. So now that I've applied the concealer, I'm going to be applying the HD Finishing Powder by NYX. So now that the powder has been applied, I'm going to be putting on this shade here from the Revolution Reloaded Dual Tone Palette. So now that the eyeshadow has been applied, I'm going to be putting on my mascara, which is the NYX On The Rise Volume Lifting Mascara.
But now that the mascara has been applied, I'm going to be applying a lip balm. This is the Primark Minnie Mouse Disney Vanilla Lip Balm. That the lip balm has been put on, that is my makeup look complete. I hope you all enjoyed this video today. If you did, then please like this video, comment down below, share this video, subscribe, click on the notification bell icon down below so that you'll be notified when my next videos come out. And also don't forget to follow me on my socials. I'm on Twitter and I'm on Patreon. If you'd follow me on Twitter and become a patron of mine, I'd be very grateful for that. Also, on my Patreon, I do tarot card reading videos. So if you're interested in that, then join me on Patreon for that. Higher tiers get early releases. And the early releases is 7 to 10 days earlier than the lower tiers and then they get released to the lower tiers so i hope you have all enjoyed this video today my spooky children that is everything for me today and goodbye